Stay tuned for the latest message excerpt from josephprince.com. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. This is very important. That's why I had it underlined so that you will see it. He, he, he brought back word. They all spy out the land. They all saw the big giant walls. They all saw the tall Anakims, the enemies. They saw the land, okay? And they saw the obstacles. They, they saw the insurmountable walls. But when they came back, the rest of the spies talk about what they saw, the problems they saw. But Caleb and Joshua, Caleb said, I shared what I saw in my heart. See that? I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. And you know what he said to them? If you look back, it's a very, very good land. He treasured the Lord's words in his heart. I don't go by what I see. I go with what is in my heart. What God said to me, I treasure that. Amen. How do I know that? Because, drop down. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I, let me stop here and just tell you this, okay? The inheritance was in Caleb's, was in Caleb, long before Caleb was in the inheritance. Long before you are enjoying it outwardly, you got to see it inwardly. It was in his heart. Now, I'm not talking about, about new age visualization here. I'm not talking about, about that kind of thing. I'm talking about God's Word being in your heart and seeing what God sees for your future or even in your present. Like God sees you highly favoured. What do you say? When you look into the mirror, are you going by what you see? Are you going by what other people see about you? Or are you going by what's in your heart? You are highly favoured in the Beloved. The Word that God said about you and me. Amen? Then he says this, my other brethren made the people's heart melt. It's all about the heart. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day saying, surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance. It's all about inheritance, people. And your children's forever because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. There you have it again. Now look up here. Caleb isn't talking so much about fighting for a new land. He's talking about possessing. Later you hear him talk about his strength for war. But still, it's all about possessing. He's saying, if I need to fight, I got, I got strength to fight. Even 85. Watch this. Go on. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive. Who kept you alive? People, who keeps you alive? Who kept you alive? There are those who have gone, but you are alive. Who kept you alive? You keep yourself alive. Your doctor kept you alive. The Lord kept you alive. Unless the Lord built the house, we labor in vain. Unless the Lord is involved in that surgery, the surgery is in vain. The Lord kept you alive. Yeah. Don't you ever forget that. Yeah. The Lord kept me alive. And Caleb knew it. The Lord kept me alive. As he said, again, pointing to God's word, this 45 years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am this day, 85 years old. Now, what is this? Since the Lord spoke this word to Moses. What word is that? We just read it, people. Look at the verse before this, verse 9. Go back to verse 9. This is the word. Moses swore on that day saying, Surely the land, and it's from God, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever. When he heard that, he stopped growing old. It's about inheritance. Say, Lord, let me live long enough to possess all my possessions. Amen. Are you listening, people? It's about inheritance. God says, the land that you went to to spy out, you will step on it. It will belong to you and your children. This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com.